Cool. Okay. So, appropriation. We all know it's bad, and it's awkward, and it's not clearly defined. Um, there are some instances where appropriation is obvious, and then there are other instances in which it's hard to determine what appropriation is. Appropriation defined by Google is the act of taking something for one's own use, typically without the owner's permission. And Nicholas Brady talks about in in his article, uh, Looking for Azalea's Harlem Shake, he talks about Come here. appropriation and how in some ways it doesn't make sense to appropriate black culture or say that black culture has been appropriated because that is to say that black bodies that were once a commodity owned black culture which would technically be a commodity and as you know a good can't own a good um, so there's a complex relationship in appropriating black culture um, and so we're thinking about appropriation right now in regard to blackness um, and I'm specifically looking at Iggy Azalea's video, Pussy, um, which I think uh, she does appropriate blackness in that video. Um, she's using black bodies as a prop, and just like the way she sounds, the way she's dressed, the way that she is acting, especially by surrounding herself with black bodies, she is trying to make herself uh, one of them. And I feel like appropriation in regards to blackness, there's a sort of um, lack of responsibility, I think. Uh, Nicholas Brady, he talks about in his blog about um, how white people sometimes use black arts as a vehicle for their own imagination and like creating their own narrative. He talks a little bit about the politics of obliteration, which he describes as being a leveling of the field of any sort of like black art that existed for white entertainers to write a narrative about themselves or about their problems um, using the vehicle of black music, or not necessarily black music, but um, black arts. Um, and so I think that, like, thinking of appropriation in regard to blackness as a costume kind of segues itself into commodification of black arts and black culture. And usually, or when I say usually, not usually, but more often we tend to see um, cultural appropriation through the display of costumes, like usually for a short length of time. Um, if you're in a play or for some sort of performance, you might don a certain kind of costume. Um, and so thinking about that wearing a costume as a limited engagement, um, you usually do it for like making money or for some experience of it. Uh, and so, costumization, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's move on. And so there kind of exists a contradiction, I think, and Yancey talks a little bit about it. Well, he doesn't talk a little bit about it, but I'm going to relate it to Yancey in that he talks about the existence of social distance within different ethnicities and about how some groups, well, a lot of groups, tend to want to distance themselves from people who are black. Um, and he talks about, in his chapter, the idea that people don't mind the existence of black people, they just don't want black people existing near them, which contradicts the idea that we commodi commoditize, is that a word? Um, 
their art and their culture and, and essentially their bodies because we are, as a society, appropriating their values and perhaps their beliefs to make money, you know? It's, it's good old capitalism. Um, but, you know, it's, it's kind of messed up. Like, appropriation is a bad thing in general. But doing it without even recognizing that you're doing it, I feel like is even worse. <laughs>